full time MMA? MMA. Nothing yeah. else. My life, man. Yeah. Or is this is this full time MMA now? Uh, I love full time MMA right now. Back to the daily grind. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Holy flying flipping flapjack. Conor McGregor, where are you at? Nate Diaz can wait. Pauly Malik Noodles can wait. The Floyd Mayweather rematch can wait. Everybody else can wait. Tony Ferguson has earned his fucking title shot. Fuck a money fight. Tony Ferguson has earned the goddamn lightweight belt. 10, 11 fights in a row. Motherfucking Tony Ferguson is that guy. You're not beating him. If you, if Conor McGregor can beat Tony Ferguson, he is the official pound for pound and GOAT. Tony Ferguson is that motherfucker. Tony Ferguson should be the champion of the lightweight division. Kevin Lee came through. He was the only person that's willing to sign the dotted line, ver dotted line versus Tony Ferguson. He put up a fight, but Tony Ferguson did what he does and he won. He wins. Yo, if I was sensitive, if I was a bitch, I could shed a tear for Tony Ferguson right now. Kevin Lee is crying in the octagon right now. And Daniel Cormier said he can do that. <laughs> when it means that much, you can do that in the octagon, son. You can do that. Kevin Lee's down. He's out. But he's 24 years old. He's only 24. Who gives a fuck if he lost his fight, honestly? You can laugh at Kevin Lee. You can be mad at Kevin Lee. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But I don't give a fuck because I tell you what, Kevin Lee will be the champion eventually. That's for sure. You can laugh because people were rooting for Kevin Lee. But I tell you what, I'm still rooting for Kevin Lee after this fight. I did pick Tony Ferguson to win. I did. But that's because he's a little more experienced. He's got the, he, he's like, he, he's, he's like 10 years older than Kevin Lee. He's more experienced, fought more experienced guys. But man, even though Kevin Lee is crying in the, in the ring like Daniel Cormier, man, he doesn't really have too much to be sad about. Honestly, he did his thing. He lost to El Kakui. There's probably nobody in the lightweight division today that's beaten El Kakui. Except maybe Conor McGregor. So that's what has to happen. I know who my vote is for. My vote is for El Kakui. I've low key kind of always felt like that. If Tony Ferguson wins, he deserves the Connor fight. If Kevin Lee wins, who knows what happens? He's still young in the game. But since Tony Ferguson, oh, we're listening to his motherfucking, we're listening to his octagon interview. Who it's hard. I mean, you gotta know, especially with this Vegas tragedy going on, it's gotta be hard. He earned this, man. He deserves this moment to, to just celebrate. But with the tragedies going on, it's like, how happy can you be? But man, he's still that dude. You know what? It's the exact way I wanted it to be, he said. Who he came in here and got submitted. It was a triangle choke, by the way, if you didn't know. Kevin Lee got submitted via triangle choke in the third round. It was fucking dope. Bro, the fact there was an arm bar Kevin Lee locked in, or that Tony Ferguson locked in, and the fact that Kevin Lee survived that was like, yo, you're, that, that was respect. Then he still locked in that triangle choke, bro, and it was over, motherfucking. Yo, shout out Eddie Bravo. What the fuck are you talking about? Tony Bra Tony Ferguson's jujitsu coach, Eddie Bravo, tinfoil hitter extraordinaire. Let's fucking go. Maybe everything Eddie Bravo be thinking about is true. All right. <laughs> okay, I gotta fucking, I gotta stop. I'm not trying to take this off into a joke into La La Land, man. Not on Tony Ferguson's night. Conor McGregor. You cannot fight Nate Diaz after this. Unless you want to give up your belt. Defend or vacate. Defend or or vacate fuck out of here with the rest of that shit either give tony ferguson his belt or admit you don't want to fight him i don't want to hear about nate diaz until you fucking vacate because there's nobody fighting for the title except for that interim champion tony ferguson as far as i'm concerned congratulations to kevin Lee for may even making it to the interim title shot or whatever he's still got a future but we're talking about right now which means we're talking about elk cooey tony motherfucking ferguson let's go
with that being said it is what it is look forward to the live stream tomorrow boys well i couldn't do it tonight i couldn't stream the, the like fight companion because the phone i had was fucking whack the kickstand was whack we couldn't get it set up but it's all good we're gonna be live streaming tomorrow full-time mma2 that's where i'm gonna be live streaming from Holy crap, UFC 216 definitely delivered, but who didn't think it would? Even though Derek Lewis pulled out, that's all good. El Kakui is in the hood. It is what it is, man. Let the hitters know what the fuck you tap me in the comments. Connor, I don't want to hear nothing except for about when and where you're fighting El Kakui. Hopefully it's Las Vegas December 30th. I fuck with Connor McGregor. But I don't want no goddamn excuses about why El Kakui doesn't deserve it. Conor McGregor said himself he's going to be watching this fight. They've got to make it to the fight, and then something's got to happen. Well, they both made it to the fight. And what about Kevin? That's another thing about Kevin Lee. <coughs> he made it here, yada, 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 lost the fight, but he had a terrible weight cut. I mean, that happens to people. You talk about people like Paige Van Zandt and all these other people that have terrible weight cuts, and that's why they gotta go, you know, Sage North cut. That's why they gotta go to these new divisions, and oh, it's the weight cut. Well, you can't tell me about anybody's weight cut without talking about Kevin Lee's tonight. He missed weight, had an extra hour to make championship weight, went back and made it by like an extra pound and a half. He fucking showed up looking like he had staph infection on his left fucking, left fucking chest, whatever the fuck, and Joe Rogan was like, hey, is that staph infection? Is that staff? That looks like staff. If that's staff, I wonder what it's taken out of him. And Joe Rogan usually ain't just talking out of his ass. To me, it looked like, I, you know, I don't know if it was staff or cupping or a ringworm. He the nigga had a deep motherfucking bruise on his motherfucking um, left side, so I don't know what it was. But Joe Rogan was pretty convinced it was staff infection. So Kevin Lee, he almost missed weight, motherfucking was going through staph infection, and still made it through round three. I mean, it did look like he was gonna gas out if he didn't get choked out this round. He still had work to do. But I don't care, man. Kevin Lee talks that shit. What happened when Conor McGregor lost? Did everybody say, fuck Conor? No, it didn't hurt him. I mean, some people still wanna see him lose, people still wanna see him win. I'm sure there's gonna be all those people right now saying, ha 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 ha. Too soon, Junior. Ha ha ha, Kevin Lee. Ha ha ha, Conor McGregor wanna be. Ha ha ha. I don't give a fuck. Hate on Kevin Lee all you want. I'll tell you what, I'll be watching this next fight. What happened tonight was the better man won. And it's that fucking simple. Tony Ferguson was the better man tonight. Hey, motherfucking, it is what it is, man. Let the haters know what the fuck you tell me in the comments. I'm out. The dudes that hate on the full-time family are the type of dudes that remind their grown-ass friends to make a wish on their birthdays. <laughs> Bye, Felicia.